And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Lucian Ephemerals. Exciting uh, new donation deck. This was a viewer submitted deck. We got two donation decks to finish out the stream today. Uh, this one is going to be playing Lucian and Hecarim for our champions. And we're going to be attacking a lot. We're going, going to be um, trying to level up Lucian. That's kind of our goal, is level up a Lucian so that each time an ally dies each round, we get to rally, so we get those extra attacks. All right, so as far as the ephemeral stuff, we got Shark Chariot in here, which Shark Chariot does a good job of dying to level up Lucian. We also have three Haunted Relics that can make three Unleashed Spirits to the level up Lucian. And then, of course, the Blighted Caretakers as well, getting us some ephemeral saplings so we have all those ephemeral things we have hecarim that you know attacks and brings a bunch of uh spectral riders attacking as well um we got radiant guardians against aggro um you know we have senna in here then like the chronicler of ruin plus senna combo we, we can kill off senna bring her back that will level up lucian we can also use chronicler of ruin um on curse keeper that's a great target um, also on Grizzled Ranger, another good target. Even Radiant Guardian. Like, let's say we play Radiant Guardian that doesn't have Life Steal and Tough. We can then use Chronicle of Ruin to kill the Radiant Guardian, and then it will come back as a Life Steal Tough Radiant Guardian. Um, we can also use it on a Shark Chariot and get another. Like, we can get a second Shark Chariot because now that it's a Last Breath thing, um, you know, like we can like have a Shark Chariot, Chronicle of Ruin it. Um, get a new shark chariot attack with a new one and then the old one comes back attacking as well and then like they will uh you'll will have two that keep coming back so that's pretty awesome so yeah that's kind of like what our deck's about we're going self-sacrifice and a bunch of attacking looks pretty sweet let's go play five games over in ranked i haven't i haven't uh tried karina control yet Man, I just realized that I, like, but between these videos, I went to, like, go grab some water. And I actually didn't grab water. I, like, went to go grab some water. I saw, like, I had bananas. I was like, ooh, a banana sounds good. And so I ate a banana real quick. And I didn't actually get a cup of water. <laughs> I meant to do that. Whoops. I forgot about that. Uh, anyway, yeah, I haven't I haven't tried a Karina Control since the update. Um, I haven't really played against Karina Control either. So I, I don't really have... I don't know exactly how it's sitting. Of course, Brood Awakening is worse, and I think that some of like the one damage things it has, like Vile Feast and Withering Whale, are a little worse these days. Hey, there you go. Now we'll get yeah, asked. Yep, here's Green and Control. But the nine mana cards are still amazing, and the format's a little slower. So it's still good. So we're attacking turn one, turn three. They don't have removal for Lucian. We can level up Lucian next turn. You know, like we play Shark this turn. Next turn we play Haunted Relic and Lucian and then attack with the four Ephemerals. And they all die and Lucian levels up. But... What are the chances that... I mean, we could just start with Illusion. What are the chances that that actually works? Probably not. Probably not much. Probably not well. Ah, should have been a Shark Chariot this turn. I failed. Hmm. Should have done the Shark Chariot last turn. I don't really like any option. I guess we'll just get the Shark Terry in play. You have to get me out of here. Okay. 
Good hand. Good hand. Very well timed, gotcha. Very well timed. A glimpse beyond. Hey, Candace. So I, I want my Lucian to stay alive. I don't want them to kill Lucian. So I want to see if maybe... Maybe they kill other things. First, could that be Withering Whale? I guess that could be Withering Whale. Brown too much. Your face will stay like that. Unlikely with you around. There you so I'll sleep when they're dead. All right, we do have a leveled up Lucian, and, and we have a backup Lucian, even if they kill this one. Getting the gifted sub. Thank you, Kitty Dexterity, for gifting out a sub. Good job. Get me out. You just hit master today. Way to go. That's awesome. Congratulations. That's true, yes, we are only one sub goal away from a 10 hour stream. Oh, that's not the first time somebody died this round, right? Because the Lucian died. No, uh, that was a waste. Hmm, that waste. That was that was really bad by me. I'm gonna go power. Most Karina players just play one ruination. Yeah, we have the shark coming, so we can only actually attack with two of those things, but we need to do that to level up Hecarim, because Hecarim... Well, Hecarim was that for us. I, mean, I guess Hecarim would have leveled up either way, but we get these other 4-1 attackers. And they already play the Withering Whale. Like, they only have three mana. There we go. Leveled up Hecarim. Hecarim is awesome. 
Got him. <laughs> yeah, Hecarim is kind of absurd. Especially at times. But like that was kind of like like Lucian was so Lucian's so good, they had to focus on getting Lucian um, out of there. And just let us have that with Hecarim. Of course they didn't know it was going to be anything like that, but. Remember that time when they killed Lucian with Hecarim on the battlefield? Well, to be fair, the two spells that they played could not kill Hecarim. But they could have also done that during combat. Like, the other, to be fair, is if they would have just done that during combat, that would have been a lot. That would have made a lot more sense. Is the mic volume low? Okay. I I watch you know like watching some of the, the latest YouTube videos. It did kind of feel like our like the mic volume was low. I want a hundred relic right now. I mean, all it is is just two mana attack for three. That's not that useful. I'll try anyone. I did try. I did drop this master volume just a little bit today. I'll I'll drop it just a little bit more. Still kind of figuring out those correct, like those best levels. Remember the objectives. The few are the many. We'll play these on defense. Thanks, Firewood. You think the audio is okay? Good, good. Looking for a daring escape. Hmm. Let's move. I'm going to block and have this fight. Nia Tunes is a tier one sub. Thank you so much there, Nia Tunes. Alright, so we'll have Shark Chariot, which will bring back the other Shark Chariot. Now we're going to Caretaker. These will bring back the other shark chariot still. Okay. So, back here. Attack. Here. And. Bring back some shark chariots. <laughs> That's a lot of them. That'd be sad if they have Death Lotus randomly. I don't have Death Lotus. Oh, okay. Take a nine. Worth 
We got leveled up Hecarim. I walk my path alone. I'll probably need a vengeance this. To save that damage. Everything's better with company. Says you. Yeah, we're gonna have to vengeance this turn. Oh, I can't wait. Mm, still taking lethal. Yeah, even with vengeance, I take lethal. Dang, that's a yeah, that's a great hand for them. That's, this this green glade duo was perfect. Ah, not lethal anymore. It was lethal. They just played. They just played the uh, this demolitionist first. They just played that first. I was dead. Ah, still dead. Darn. So close. I need Mark of the Isles. Or two more life. So close. Well, we'll, we'll force them to kill us. See, we'll see if they actually kill us. Maybe they don't. Nah, they figured it out. Close game. GG's. Oh, right, Nia Tunes with the tier one sub. Right, thank you, Nia Tunes. I need to update the sub count to be number number two. Sorry, I was kind of focused there. Thanks for that support. Hmm. These cards would be great if we, you know, if we draw Cursed Keeper. But if we don't, if we like, we don't draw Curse Keeper. These cards may not do very much. We can still have Lucian single combat. Wow, perfect. That was just the perfect card. We still have Lucian single combat. A Teemo. Reporting in. Slippery. There's enough for everyone. Thanks, Neotunes. Thank you. Alright, good start for them. I mean, I, I have a good start too. Got a good one as well. Push back the darkness. Unfortunately, I did have the removal to kill my Lucian. Yuck. And now a 2 2 Teemo. Close, they got a good hand. So do we. I'm what nightmares fear. Oh, if 
Shrooms couldn't talk. I'll have what he's having. We're gonna be attacking for a bunch. This will be a good winter. <laughs> Trail of Evidence making Mystic Shot is just the best high roll. That is just the best possible. <clears throat> Alright, but we also have Hecarim next turn. Like, our, our hand was awesome. Like, turns 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Exactly what we want to be doing. Fly away while you can. But I feel like there, there's this, like, like, that's that's a good part about this game. You know, like, we have like one of our absolute best hands. They have one of their absolute best hands. We're gonna have a close game here. So that's fun. That's a good draw too. You never know what hit him. Fuck caps. Alright, 5-5. Five, five. Hecarim. Yay, no thermogenic beam. Ooh, 7-6 chump lump, though. So we're at 2. I'd, I'd have to attack with 5 ephemerals to level up Hecarim. Which I can do. I can do that next turn. If I play a Blighted Caretaker. We have 46 puff caps. Wow, what a great draw. Yeah, we kind of need to kill him right now, don't we? Yeah, because we have two sharks. Like, this is going to... This attacks for four on its own. I do two of these and I don't get. I only get one. Hmm. Why would I do the four one instead of the four four? I don't know. Probably no reason to do that. Let's have them have one less blocker. We need to have lethal this turn. Dang. Well, that didn't work. I wish we could keep attacking. We could have four more attackers. That would make life really good. But this should still be lethal, right? Yeah, because because of the one damage from Hecarim. They can block six, six, and five, and they take six. Leave no survivors. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. So GG's. Man, what a game. And then we were, like, really dead on the way back. Scout never... Yeah, great game there. Our hand was amazing. Their hand was amazing. That was awesome. What do you mean they threw they could have killed Hecarim? What do you mean? When? Or how? Like instead of playing instead of playing Sejuani, they could have like thermogenic beamed or something?
This hand looks pretty good. We're attacking turn four, which is awkward. So that means we're gonna go like Keeper three, Senna, or Keeper two, Senna three, Caretaker four. Oh, right. Okay, yes, yes, y'all are correct. Okay, yes, if they would have blocked the Hecarim and... Or we could go Lucian into Senna into Caretaker. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Okay, I see what y'all are saying. Yes, yeah, so they would block Hecarim, Hecarim dies, then the Hecarim pump goes away, so then the other things would not have been attacked, would not have been dealing as much damage. Um, so if they block Hecarim, then they have to block like the two sharks also. And then we have... What, they were at six? No, they would still take lethal. Cause they'd have two, they, would, they wouldn't block the two five power things, but the, both of those would go down to three power. Um, and so they, yeah, they still would have taken lethal. Hello, love. In the field, you call me commander. Perfect. No place. Get Senna back. We're gonna need more coffins. No, Lucian, don't don't be mad. Don't be mad. Senna's back. So now if they use removal on Lucian, which by the way they have to, then our Senna gets double double attack. Okay, or they could do Here's our the stun. Purity and peace. <clears throat> we need to clear room uh, for like caretaker and everything also. They're really thinking about their blocks. Okay. Damage crossed. We're halfway there. Think you're fast? Cute. So of course playing Curse Keeper first would be ideal, but we just don't have room. We would have only gotten one of those two Ephemeral Challengers instead of both of them. Yeah. This is mercy. Mm. Like, are they like barrier? They could kill my Lucian. Missed your chance to run. So that means we should attack with Senna afterwards. Do I just not attack with Lucian? Feels kind of weird to just not attack with Lucian. Come, come this way. See these moves up close. Okay. 
And so, like, if they didn't block Senna, and if they were just gonna, like, stun Lucian, then I could, you know, glimpse beyond the Lucian and have the Senna be le lethal. Hmm. We're just gonna take the eight. All that stuff die. I think I just go straight to attacks for the first attack. Let me show you what I can do. And then we can do stuff afterwards and trigger Lucian again. We'll just take out, you know, like their 1 3 or their 2 3 or whatever. Let's see what you can do. One more mana. Look what you did. <sighs> Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. too much. Your face will stay like that. <laughs> Unlikely with you around. Alright, so maybe that was a mistake. I'm going straight to attacks. Because the problem is, like, you can't really do caretaker pre-combat because you already have the attack token. So you can't, you, like, you want to have something die after you have the attack token. Could have, you know, Shark Cherry did. But then, like, they, I don't know, they stun and all this other stuff happens. And, I don't know. Um... Return to us. That seems pretty good. Blood for Noxus. Plus two, plus zero. Join the conflagration. So let's see if they have what like a recall They still still like deciding if I, if I even want to block here or not, because like if they have like a stunner recall, they can turn this into three. They got the fourth with the blade's edge to take this out. Um, but at that point, you know, like then this would be five, so you'd be looking at uh, five with eight here. That's like a ninth. They have, you know, like if I don't block, they have like two stun recall cards. It could just be lethal. They both cost like three mana. I guess. I don't know. 
block it safer. Here's our chance. All right, well, the, the turn before, you know, I, I, I needed to play stuff pre-combat the turn before. I just lost that transfusion. Well, obviously we didn't just lose the transfusion, but I thought I could go straight to combat and then play stuff second main with the caretaker killing something, getting another attack step. But now that second transfusion. Both those transfusions were great. They had the, my attack to turn four as well. I hate having the attack on turn two and turn four with Caretaker. Like we got that again. Reporting in. Okay, ready. Both those games we lost were to the exact same region combination: aggressive Noxus Ionia. Not something you see very often. And both of them were really close. That. If I was maybe more used to playing against the regions or, you know, made, made some different decisions. That we could have one. No one's the wiser. I can do this. Delicious. Don't mind me. <laughs> I hope this works. Look what you did. Close to getting this Radiant Guardian. Really want to save single combat for Radiant Guardian, if possible. Oh, I can't wait. Gonna kill both those things that do the damage on attacking. This is my best block against Transfusion. Like if I make, if I block the Crimson Disciple, then they Transfusion, they do two to this, pump that up, they do another two to me. But yeah, this is over now. Radiant Guardian with single combat. Such a good combination. Their deck felt pretty powerful. This is similar to my Lucian Callista list, but we had a Hecarim at the top, and Hecarim looked great. I liked Hecarim. Um, yeah, this deck really did feel powerful. I think that, you know, we we did lose a couple of, you know, both both of our losses were, you know, same kind of thing, really close uh, to Ionia. 
Noxus decks that... I don't know, maybe I could have played a little better, maybe. I probably could... Uh, yeah, I'm sure I could have. Um, but yeah, this deck felt really powerful. We got to level up Lucian uh, fairly easily. Um... I do kind of wish there was like a it was a little easier to bring back Shark Chariot, and I also wish like that's one thing about the deck, and then I also wish we had one mana cards. So there's there's two things about the deck that I wish that we had. I'm not sure if like Grizzled Ranger is really that necessary in this deck. Like maybe like this like this deck's too fast for Grizzled Ranger. Maybe that's how you could find some one mana cards. <clears throat> With one mana, like you could play Fleet Feather Tracker in this deck. Like Fleet Feather Tracker is awesome. Get you a good challenger one drop like helps helps clear your way for like some other things and gets you something to play on turn one i think fleet feather tracker would be great like maybe you just don't need like these four mana cards like grizzled ranger repost and just play some fleet feather trackers help you get out early Kind of feel like that would be better. I think one relentless pursuit's the right number. Um, Cause it's, <clears throat> I could I could even see playing zero, but I think I think one is okay. Yeah, I I don't think you really want more than more than that because there's a lot of times where Relentless Pursuit's not doing very much. Like, you, you need to be spending your mana developing the board. You don't really have the mana to spend on Relentless Pursuit until, like, late game. But it's like... It's like... If, if like, that's what we have, like, late game, either mana to spend on Relentless Pursuit or, like, mana to spend on Rekindler, like, I'm probably wanting to play Rekindler. Right? Like... like uh, Rekindler's just pretty awesome. Especially when you have, like, Hecarim and stuff like that. I do understand that, like, Hecarim, like, best best thing ever would be we have the attack token on turn six. Like, we have the even numbers, two, four, six. We play, like, a Hecarim, and we had three mana saved up that we didn't use, and we get to, like, Hecarim, attack, they don't kill Hecarim, we get to Relentless Pursuit, attack again. Like, that would be, you know, living the dream. But... Yeah, I think it's nice to have, like, one Vengeance. That's nice. Yeah, maybe play Fleet Feather Trackers in this kind of deck. I, I like Tracker more than, like, Hapless Aristocrat that just is just dopey and just sits there. Like, a Hapless Aristocrat, the best thing about it is it's a good thing to Blighted Caretaker. You can Blighted Caretaker a Tracker if you need to. Um, could also see playing, like, a Mark of the Isles to, like, bring back a Shark, you know, be a pump spell that also brings back Shark Chariot and helps trigger your Hecarim and stuff like that. And, you know, like, maybe it helps like something else stay alive maybe use it just to simply kill something like in combat like you you have like a, a lucian in play and maybe a leveled up lucian and they attack with other things and you block mark of the isle eh, i mean it would be dying with with blocking anyway i don't know maybe a mark maybe like a mark of the isle i could see that but yeah i liked i liked this i like having these radiant guardians i like having the hecarums I think, I think the Hecarims were better than Callista. You know, I've been playing a similar deck, like I said, with Grizzled Ranger. Um, but I think Grizzled Ranger is maybe a little slow for this deck. Like, maybe you don't need that card. Um, so there we go. All right, that's Lucian Ephemerals. Good looking deck here. Good looking deck. Um, both losses could have gone our way, if, uh, for sure. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know what you think of these uh, little changes. And if you try this deck out yourself, let me know how it goes. Uh, this is one that I'm going to be probably playing off stream also. This is a fun one to play. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Lucian Ephemerals, and I'll see you for the next video.